Alright, welcome LEGO fans to another episode of Bill Broco 9's 2 Minute Filming Tips. And today we have for you another important subject, the subject of tripods. Now, if you plan to do any kind of filming, a tripod is essential. Um, it keeps your camera steady. Well, that's the main thing it does. So, that way you don't have to be constantly holding your camera so you can be using your hand somewhere else. Now, once you see this, you might think, oh, he's a fine one to be talking. Uh, my camera does not actually fit onto the tripod. Um, you'll see that in my camera review, but I actually just have to, like, set it on top of here because there's, like, a giant box thing. It's just not adequate for this type of tripod. But, um... Well, I can't use my tripod while I show you my tripod, so I'll try to balance it on my leg here. So, what you do, there's a few different points on mine. So that's if you, this is if you can secure it. What you do is, hopefully there should be a little panel underneath your camera, and you can fit it in this groove right here. And that's to take it in and out with this. Now, some things I have no idea what they are. Uh, this thing, which looks like a vial of... First thing that comes to mind is like a vial of DNA from Jurassic Park or something. I do not know what that is for. If you do, please tell me in the comments. I didn't see it can go like that too. Um, but let me get back on the subject I do know about. That's it so you can turn it. And if you don't want it to turn, you twist this to the right. And as you can see, it's much harder. You can hear it creaking to move up and down now. But if I unscrew it again to the left, it's very easy. I'm assuming this is a handlebar right here, so you can grip it. Here's another thing I'm not sure about this. It looks like the same kind of thing. This green dot here. It kind of moves around a little bit if you shake the tripod. And by the way, this is Targus brand. And there's all kinds of little screws and things on here. I don't know what that is for, honestly. Or this one. You might think I'm kind of stupid to be talking about tripods. There's another thing, which I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to tell you the basics and tell you what I know. Probably one of the most important things about the tripod is the, is the actual legs. Now these things right here are to extend it and make it longer. The first one extends it like that, and to lock it, you just push this back down. And then if you want to make it even longer, you'll pull this one up. So, as you can see now, that's a very long tripod leg. It's probably straight up like filming in the mountains or something. But mine is usually more like down here. And those twists for some strange reason. Mine is usually like somewhere around here for my table. And when you put your camera on there, make sure that all three legs are equal. Because, like for this example, if you leave it like this, as you can see it's leaning forward a bit. It's fairly unstable, so you don't want that. Um, that's pretty much it for a tripod. You probably know that tri means three, and it has th and pod means leg, so it means three legs. And I think I just taught you some Latin. Pretty sure it's Latin. <laughs> Maybe Greek, but I'm almost positive that's Latin. So that's a tripod. The very very basic introduction. So. This is for very amateur filmmakers. If you're a little more advanced than me, you'll want to look at something else. And like I said um, earlier, you'll want to pick up Stop Motion Explosion. I'll be doing a review, a review on this book. And this is probably in the cameras section. I don't think they have an entire chapter on tripods. But anyway, pick this book up. I'll be doing a review on that and tell you all about that. So thanks for tuning in to this episode of Bilbo Brico 9's 2 Minute Filming Tips. I have some more ideas to put on here on this playlist, so look out for those. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.